Well, howdy, fellow travelers. Dude RV here. Appreciate you stopping by. It's July 27, 2020. Man, it's hot, but that's not gonna stop us from taking a little journey. Today, this weekend, we're gonna head over to Ray Roberts Lake and pay a visit to Idebo Campground, the Idebo unit, Isles Debo. That's a tough one to say, but we're gonna go there and we're gonna check it out. We're gonna dig deep into this campground. And this was actually one of the newer Texas state parks, the Ray, Ray Roberts Lake State Park System. There's two units. Today, we're gonna go start shooting video of Idebo, Isles Debo, Idebo, the Idebo unit of Ray Roberts State Park. So let's go. Ray Roberts Lake State Park or Lake Ray Roberts State Park however you choose wherever you choose to put the lake we're there <laughs> I the bow unit I'll the bow unit man it is it is muggy there is no wind blowing an interesting thing that came up while I was checking in this is actually the 56th Texas State Park campground that I have stayed in since I've started doing this, since I've started this document YouTube thing with the Texas State Parks. And what makes that really unique is that we are in site number 156, and that was not by design. I was telling the, the park ranger that was checking me in that this is, this is number 56. And she said, well, did you choose this site on purpose? And I said, uh, no, as a matter of fact, I was just looking at the trees from the satellite view. I've got this, these, these two trees. It should give me some shade in the afternoon. That's the theory anyway. The restrooms are right up there. There's actually a playground right here walking distance. But let's talk about the site. It is very level asphalt, 30 and water. No sewer, but it's very level. We got a got a fireplace. It's kind of kind of close. You're not gonna be having a bonfire. Shouldn't be having a bonfire anyway. Gravel picnic area, aluminum picnic table, a lantern hook, and lots of trees. Lots of privacy. There's actually a concrete path. And that's one of the things about this park that, that excites me. It's one of the newer Texas state parks and there are concrete paths all running all over this park. So we're gonna be doing some scooting. We've got a decent area to set up the kitchen out here. Still kind of kind of slopes off. So we gotta be gotta be careful when I'm walking around. Talk about cell signal. You know, we're on Verizon and I've got the 
unidirectional antenna with the cell mapper program I'm using it shows that the closest or the the best line of sight tower is the town of Sanger and so that's pointed just north of Sanger there's one closer but I could not get a signal and it comes from pilot point so if you're looking at the map and you've got a cell booster point your antenna towards Sanger I've got four bars on the uh, hot spot or not the hot spot but the jet pack and three bars on the galaxy note nine so that's that's good enough to do business all right lunch and then we go play just out here scooting around check out site number 139 in the quail loop man what a view here on our left there's a little doe. Not sure if you can see her. Oh, and there's another one right there. Look at that. <laughs> they're, they're not like them deer up in Oklahoma that are afraid of the, of the little red scooter. These trails, there's one big looping trail that runs all around. Alibo campground and uh, it splits off and, I, and I'm pretty sure we're gonna find out but I'm pretty sure it goes down to the beach area at some point and I think maybe this right hand turn here now if I know if I go left that's gonna take me to the other camping loop I've seen a lot of deer since I rolled into this camp to the I've seen a lot of deer since I rolled into this park a couple of years ago, I spent two weeks camped out at the other unit, the Johnson Branch unit of the Ray Roberts Lake State Park. And as far as the, the camping goes, I, I really like that, that campground better. But if you're interested in the, the day use type activities, then this is a, a really good park. We're gonna go up here on the top of the hill and we'll start our, let's go see some stuff. Ray Roberts Lake State Park, Aldebo unit, Aldebo unit. The day use area is extensive. There are just tons of picnic tables. There's a big group pavilion over there. It's, it's a little bit of a drive from the greater Dallas area, but man, if you're just looking to spend the day hanging out at the at the beach, this is a fantastic daycation. <laughs> See what I did there? Not sure where this goes, but we'll we'll follow it and see. They've made quite a few uh, improvements since the last time I was out here, uh, mainly with the the rock shoreline it was heavily eroded when I was last here uh, I guess that was three years ago four years ago there's a good place to go bank fishing hold on all right let's go see some more stuff got some bad news Buster's not allowed on the beach you're also not supposed to leave your children unattended. But man, it's a beautiful little beach. Let's go see a boat ramp. All right, so before we get to the boat ramp, well, actually, there's the boat ramp. We'll go check that out in a little more detail. Fish cleaning station. And a fishing pier. So I thought we'd run out here on the fishing pier and have a look-see. Let's 
super calm day today. They even have rod holders. Ray Roberts, Lake State Park, Aldebo Unit. All right, now we're going to go see the boat ramp. Here we are. For those of you who are boat fan, boat ramp fanatics, a nice big boat ramp with, it's actually, I guess, what, a four lane, five lane? But you've got uh, the stationary docks, and apparently this one's no longer in use. Not sure. Maybe that's just for when the, the lake is really high. I don't know. I'm not a boater. Maybe if you're a boater and you understand what's going on with this, post a comment down there and, and let us all know. Here we have another view of the beautiful beach. And all the people out playing in it. Pause to take a little break here in the group pavilion at the day use area of the Aldebo unit, Aldebo unit, Aldebo State Park. Just sitting here listening to the kids laugh and hoping that there are no swallows coming to crap on me. <laughs> That'd be bad. Be good, good video, but be bad. All right, let's go see some more stuff. So here at Ray Roberts Lake State Park, Adibo, Aldebo unit, they have a primitive camping area, walk-in camping. We're not going to venture too far down this trail. mainly because it's not real scooter friendly. But you can get right down here by the lake if you don't mind camping on in a tent. So well, here we are. I mean, you can just literally sit down here and catch fat catfish right on the water. How about that? So I'd find something interesting. That's site number 62. Check this out. 62. It is reserved, but see, you got that great big old oak tree to the west. So there's going to be shade here. So you want, might want to book this. You're going to have to book this one way out to get it on a weekend. But if you can camp during the week, son, this is a good one. Right there. That'd, that'd be a beach. Well, if you're coming out to Idabo Park, at the Idabo unit of Ray Roberts Lake State Park, and you want to have a campfire, you don't have to worry about buying wood before you get here, because they've got the wood shack. They got a mega wood shack. It's real simple. Tap the screen, swipe the card, and it opens up and you get your firewood. What's amazing is they don't sell small bundles. You got to have a big fire here. And while we're here, that's your dump station. That's like a high speed traffic dump station. One of the widest roads approach, one of the widest approach streets I've seen.
I thought I'd whip into the equestrian loop. And I was 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 really surprised. This is probably the most elaborate equestrian loop that I have seen in, in just about every campground I've been to. So let's go over here and 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 take a look. I'm in a handicap site right here with a wheelchair accessible table. So we got a, a big corral. And every site has, that's actually a round pin. Beautiful big old oak trees there. But it, every site out here has got a paddock, a covered paddock. There's a, I believe that is used to help uh, wheelchair bound people get on the back of a horse. So a two stall paddock. So if you want to go camping with your horse, this would be a good place to go camping with the horse. But one thing I have noticed in just about every one of these equestrian campgrounds, there's no power. So are, 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 are cowboys not allowed to use air conditioners or, or what? But there's, there's the trailhead over there. From what I can see on the map, there's a very extensive trail network for y'all who ride horses. All right, more to come. Aldebo State Park. I found a nice little place to, to put a hook in the water. Of course, it's a little bit of a hike to get over here. Little Red's parked up on the hill. It's not that far, but it is when you can't walk. Wasn't too bad. It's not a developed trail, but there's a trail. What we're looking at over here is one of the primitive camping areas. There's actually a tent set up over there, but there's a, a site there and a site there. So if you don't mind sleeping in a tent, those are two really good sites. The boat ramp is right here. So I've come down to the fishing pier. It's really, really windy down here and choppy. I had to leave the other place. The fire ants were just tearing up my hands. Every time I pick up the rod, they, they were, the handle was covered in fire ants. Hopefully that won't happen here. This guy, we, he was just was actually unlucky. <laughs> His mouth is too small, and the hook went in. I mean, he's on there like a, like I'd put a minnow. <laughs> Another one. Well, that pretty well brings us to the end of our visit here at Idaho State Park, Ray Roberts Lake State Park. 
I do I'll do bow state park caught a couple fish that was a, a nice change <laughs> so take that rabbi Jesus if y'all have stuck with me to this point I really appreciate your time and your attention if this is your first visit to dude RV please click on the subscribe button and hit the bell as well for those of you who have been riding along I, I really appreciate y'all I really do stay tuned I, I got more stuff coming we're gonna do some more hot weather camping in a couple weeks but we'll get to that in a couple weeks thank you I am so very honored y'all come back now you hear